Hi everyone, it's Adam Brown here from ISW and Kudos and I'm here to give you a quick demonstration of our, our latest product which we're very excited to release before IBM Connect which is Kudos Boards. The team at ISW and Kudos really love IBM Connections. Uh, we find it's a, a great tool to help us become more productive and in particular we really like the uh, activities capability. Um, you know, activities are great for working together on projects and leveraging social tools. It's, it's a very powerful way of working. However, sometimes what we find is that activities can get quite big. Sometimes users need to look at their tasks or organize activities slightly differently. Uh, sometimes users don't need to see everything that's going on, but just one part of the activity. And so what we thought is that wouldn't it be easier if activities could be more visual? Wouldn't it be great if you could visualize an activity as a board? similar to a Kanban board. Um, imagine if you could drag and drop your tasks and entries within an activities as they progress. Uh, wouldn't it be neat if you could filter that content by um, person to person or by priority or by color code or by any filter that you wanted. Imagine a board where you could quickly create new sections or lists. Just one click to create an entry or to do. Drag and drop it to another section or list. Wouldn't it be great if boards could refer to other boards? Wouldn't it be awesome if you could update a board and everyone else that has that board open has it instantly refreshed in real time? Wouldn't it be great if you could work in either an activity or a board and have them synchronized and up to date in real time as well? That would really give you the best of both worlds. So we set out to achieve this and we created what we now call Kudos Boards. So let me just jump across to uh, IBM Connections and this is our internal connections environment and the first thing you'll note is in the menu we have a new application called Kudos Boards. But before I go to that I want to start with an activity. So as you can see here if you're familiar with connections this is the standard activities interface and you can view here all of the activities that you're currently working on and I'm just going to go into one of them uh, let's say this marketing content production so this is an activity that I work with personally with a few of the people in our sales and marketing team and you can see here it's a pretty typical activity with a lot of sections quite a few to do's comments uh, etc different content throughout um, that activity and you know it's it's pretty good but it does get quite large from time to time and you have to you know drill down to see a lot of the detail now the thing that you might have noticed at the top is we've got this view activity is board so this is kudos boards so when I click on this the magic happens instantly your activity is converted into a board now boards basically convert sections into what we call lists um, and each entry within it or to do become cards on that list. Now on the left hand side we've got the typical uh, views that you can see so you can view the board, you can view your two items or your trash or your members all of those things consistent with activities but we can also view the different sections or lists um, in the um, board and as we mouse over each one of those the corresponding board is highlighted or the corresponding list is highlighted on the board itself. Now for very large activities or boards we can actually navigate using this as well and it will automatically drag for us back and forth across the board. We can just simply grab the board and, and drag across as well but then we get some great capability within the board itself. If you want to reorganize um, the board it becomes very easy because we can simply drag and drop the cards within each individual section or if we want to we can actually drag and drop them across the sections as well. Um, we can change the content just by simply clicking on um, one of the cards and it brings up some details and, and very simply we can um, update and change the details. We can edit the description, we can add tags, we can add comments just as you would expect to do throughout connections. You can add some attachments or bookmarks or all those other things that you would expect with entries and, and to-dos. We can also grab and drag columns or sections. Now this is really powerful because what it means is you can start thinking about boards or activities in a completely different way. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'll just jump back and come 
to the Kudos Boards application. Now what we see here is a different way of viewing my boards. Um, now this is synchronized with activity so I can see here my recent boards that I've been working on I can view high priority boards and if I scroll down I can see the other boards that I'm currently assigned to I'm able to filter this I can drill down and say well show me the prioritized boards that I just want to look at show me my completed boards or boards that are in the trash and we're planning to add some great features very soon that enable us to color code enable us to group um, my activities and boards by different categories and the important part is that that's going to be personalized to me now when we look at the board uh, the, the, the recent boards we can sort them we can view them by their due date we can sort them by their name can sort them when they were last updated and we also see a bit of information on it we see when the the activities is due uh, when, when it was last updated um, and and what tasks were last updated as well um, we can also see tags relating to the activity or the board all within the um, Kudos Boards interface. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and show you one of the boards in a bit more detail. So I'm going to go into this uh, Current Tasks board and I'm going to show you one way of working uh, with a board. So this is a board that I'm personally using to help manage my day-to-day -day tasks. I'm recording things in my to-do so when as they come in I just add them there. Um, I've got what I want to do today, I've got what I want to do tomorrow, um, important things for next week and then things that I might do one day. Um, so one thing I want to do here is I want to act actually add another list. I want to add a list for things that are really important that I don't want to forget. So I just double click anywhere and I go special to do's don't forget. Okay, I can decide what position it wants to be in, but just because I clicked near there, it's chosen number two for me, and I've added another section. Now I'm going to start adding a few cards to this. So Molly's birthday next month. Uh, end of month review with the team. And I can very quickly start building up my um, boards. Now if I want to go in and edit them, I can just single click on them. I can change the title and I'll say Molly's birthday 23rd of Feb. And it updates. Um, I can tag it. I can go personal, uh, family, um, whatever it might be. And I can add a comment just by clicking in the comment box, uh, maybe a new bike. Hit enter and there it is. Now all the while this is synchronizing with the activity. So if I wanted to go back to the activity view I can do that. I can do all the different things that you would expect like add an attachment, add a bookmark, add a custom field. I can also see children entry if they exist within inside that um, task. So I'll just save that there and it's created that entry and you can see we have nice little icons that indicate how many tags, how many comments are on there. I can actually drill in and see it. Um, you know, it's it's a really nice way of working. Now, I might actually um, plan to do the end of month review uh, tomorrow, so I will drag it off to the tomorrow one. Um, or maybe I haven't quite got the uh, Kudos video done, but so I'm going to do the uh, Connections SAP integration story tomorrow as well. So it becomes a really quick and dynamic way of working. Now if I want to, I can click on view board as activity and it takes me back to the activity, which is exactly the way that we're used to working inside Connections. And everything is synchronized exactly as you would expect. So the user can decide, do they want to use it as an activity or do they want to view it as a board? So I'll jump back and show you something a little bit more complicated maybe back to this marketing content production activity and you can see here um, we're able to drill down we can see the various comments see the various to do's that were in there um, you know it's just a, a really nice way of working I can open it up I can see all the comments um, and it's just a nice visual way of working one of the other features I want to show you is that sometimes you want to view an activity as a full screen. So we've got this neat little icon, you click on that and the activity um, takes up the full screen. 
Another cool feature that's difficult to show you here is that as I update this activity or this board, other users that have this board open at the same time, their board is dynamically in real time updated as well. Or if the activity in the background is updated, my board will also automatically be updated in real time. So there's a quick overview of Kudos boards. Um, hopefully you can see some uh, benefit in working in the more visual way. Um, we're going to be at IBM Connect, so really look forward to the opportunity to meet with people in person um, and demonstrate Kudos boards and, and really looking forward to getting some feedback on ideas of, of what we can do to make it even better. Uh, if you'd like some more information, come to the Kudos Badges website, kudosbadges.com, and you can contact us through one of the links that are available there. Uh, see you at Connect.